upwards of 20 plus pairs of brand new jeans just chilling i'm gonna give you guys a slight little tip here what's that what's that that's a chair and looks like a couple books sitting on top. All right, anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tip here. This is a Cristoforo dumpster diving secret, primo secret. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. Ikea Galant, if you pronounce it that way, Galant. They're desks, Ikea desks, right? And you're like, Chris, those things were only like 120 bucks, 130 brand new. I know, but speaking of Ikea, Ikea. One of those little small little tables. Oh, oh, they put it back. We already saw that at that exact same can. Someone took it, someone put it back. Anyway, Ikea Galant. They have legs, straight legs and T-bar legs and pieces that hold up the desks. And you're like, Chris, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? You're just talking about Ikea nonstop. What I'm trying to say is they go for bucos. We just sold one small little wood piece that goes on top for I think 60 plus 20 shipping. And we sold one leg and I still have four, uh, three more. I still have three more T legs for Ikea Galant. Just sold that one for like 57 or $58 shipped. Wow, that's a beautiful little uh, pot and rose. Not pot and rose. Can you even see that? Like a uh, table, little long plant thingamabobber for your balcony. That was actually a beautiful piece. Hmm. Let's press on. Oh, and sorry, the only reason I was thinking about that story was because I just saw a piece I need to go pick up. Crowd came out of their house right as I was gonna snag it and I got scared. So anyway, I'm gonna go back. Not that big of a deal. No one really knows about it. Hey, look at that table. Uh, not the best of condition, but you know, hey, unless it was rustic looking. Anyway, so I gotta go pick that up. Oh, please tell me. Oh, Lord, thank you. That's how the Lord literally answers prayers, folks. Over the last two days, I have found King Philip from the gym every item he wants. There's a tower fan. I already got the office chair. There's another office chair if I want to. And then this little kid's cart thing. Let me grab for Mr. Sleep Slots kids. Thank you, Lord. That's how the Lord works. The Lord knows who needs things and he blesses. Oh, by the way, King Philip is a believer. He loves Jesus. And that was another instance right there where you just say, I don't care. And you go and you run the product right there. There were people that were right next to me dog walking. And I was like, you know what? I just can't come back. I got to run it right now. And you know what? We sure did. So we got that really good looking uh, baby push cart. I'm going to give it to Mr. Sleeps a lot. And then we got the uh, beautiful tower fan. You know what is crazy? And this is, I just have to keep talking about how I'm so thankful to the Lord. I prayed. I said, Lord, let me find one for King Philip and let it be in good condition where it's not all dusty and nasty. And that is a beautiful one. <laughs> I'm stoked, man. Thank you, Lord. I'll tell you what, it's the day of blessings, but it's the day of getting caught as well. I was loading up that Ninja Blender and somebody was creeping right on me. It's just, it's all good, baby. I'm getting used to it, I guess. I guess it's giving me thicker skin just to go in and go in for the snag, you know what I'm saying? But, oh, suey. Look at that bad boy right there. I saw something sticking out of the top of it, and I'm glad I went in for a closer look. There's kind of like a bed frame thing, but I'm glad I went in for a closer look. That is the whole Ninja Blender, all the action, all the components in there. So that's looking really, we'll be putting that bad boy on eBay. I have sold, I think two other ones. Looks clean, all the attachments, I like it. Well, we're definitely gonna have to do a little bit of research before we do leave 
because that was probably upwards of 20 plus pairs of brand new jeans just chilling so uh yeah i need to grab a parking spot do a little bit of research on ebay the internet see if that brand is expensive because they're i mean they were brand new with the tags i took a couple pairs all righty the story gets even stranger they are actually all the pairs i took they're cut in half. So somebody either dumpster dived at a store thinking that they were complete jeans just like I did. Then they found out, oh no, I just took a whole sack full of cut in half jeans. What's that, another office chair? Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let's go in, let's go peer in those dumpsters because there's some other action over there. So anyway, they're all brand new jeans, but they're all cut in half. The story thickens. They're gonna start soon calling me Mr. Office Chair. This is crazy, I've never seen that before. What is that? That's a uh, desk, a uh, cooler, and then some sort of like huge oxygen cylinder. Weirdest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That's crazy talk. It looked too big to be helium. What's going on with this complex? There's just some weird stuff. Stuff I haven't seen before. This is where I found like the gun rifle cases. Uh, not cases, the safes. I'm telling you, there's some there's some interesting people living here. I'll tell you what. All right, live right here with you. Let's go ahead and I've been praying for a 70 inch television. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm laughing because I really am praying for one. So uh, that that would just that would be uh, that would be uh, an amazing find. That would be a blessing from the Lord more than one two times. Ooh, what's that? A little ceramic pottery. What's that over there? Boxes. Okay, okay, we'll keep on. Well, someone over here in this section does not like Ikea. There's some stuff on the ground. I think those might be some more legs I'm looking for. And I gotta show you those gallant legs. This is getting really interesting. Whoever lives near that dumpster does not like Ikea. Remember that in like two videos ago, three videos ago, that entire modern new color Ikea, uh, nightstands, bed and everything, that again is the same exact cans. Crazy talk. We got a nice laundry hamper right here. Beautiful. Don't need one, but I'd take it. Okay. Let's go ahead and push on for. Definitely don't need another one, but a nice little pop-up beach umbrella. I already have two of those bad boys, but that one actually looks really nice. You stab that in the sand, looking real good. I can't tell if those are tiki torches, but that's a beautiful shoe rack. I just don't know, those aren't lamps. I think those are stab in the ground tiki torches uh, right next to the shoe rack. Really cool, nonetheless. I like it. Stacking up so much product, we need to have another garage sale. Goodness gracious. And look at that. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of product here today. What is that? Some sort of single unit coffee machine? Let's go ahead and grab that bad boy real quick.
So remember I told you that somebody was laying this out right here? Boom! Looked inside. Boom! Two more tea legs right here. You gotta be kidding me. Are you ready for this one? We are literally no joke. I'm not even joking around. Two legs in this frame right here. This one, the gallants, are very expensive. You're looking at no joke, almost or over $200 in parts. This thing right here goes for like 60 something dollars. It's flat, easy shipping FedEx. These things, again, we've been selling these. These things go for $57, $58 dollars including shipping for one i have two plus this bad boy so we're almost at 200 dollars. isn't that wild just for literally metal frames ikea sells baby used ikea sells don't let the party stop guys hit one of these videos continue to watch and we'll see you soon <laughs>